All right. Welcome to Tuesday. UBT, we're jumping right in. We're talking, we're doing some coaching. We're talking about smart words. We're talking about how to build the value of the smart order. We're talking about how to build the value of the new plus performance pack as our foundational pack plus business pack and um, doing some coaching. So starting with um, this concept again of the building the, the value of the 90 days. So what is the value of, so first of all, in order to be able to recommend a smart order, first, we're going to build the value of the 90 day. And we're going to recommend the 90 day based on what people tell us. Um, what kinds of things do people tell us that go, hmm, they could, the 90 day would be great for them. What are some things that people say that you're like, definitely like the 90 day would be helpful for you? And just a bump. I would say most people have significant health problems when you really start digging into it. So it takes time. And especially if you're like me, an older person, it takes more time to change your habits. Beautiful. A lot of people have like more, comp more health stuff going on. A lot of people need more time um, to develop those healthy habits. Yeah. And Rachel, many people have issues that are years in the making. Right. And it takes longer than just a month to rectify those issues. Perfect, yeah. What other things, what specific things that are actually not help, not necessarily, you know, since we have, since we're be care we have to be careful with the FTC not to say things like diabetes or, you know, all these different health issues and that this cures or treats, we don't wanna say that, right? But what can we, what, what can we address specifically in people's needs? You know, I have a specific question related to that, actually. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I know we got to be careful with what we say. What I usually do, and I'm curious if this is okay, is say, you know what, this doesn't heal anything. What it does is it gives the body nutrients it needs so that it can heal itself. Is that acceptable? Is that sorry, okay? I got distracted by, your, by the thing. What was it? Oh, yeah, sorry. Is your body the nutrients that, that it needs to what, did you say? To heal itself. I wouldn't say that either. Okay. <laughs> it gives your body, it gives you the support. It gives you the nutritional support. Okay. It can give you nutritional support. And I've seen it help a lot of people. I would just take heal out of the vocabulary completely. Right. right. It is true. I mean, we can say on live, your body, if your body has a natural, the nutrients to heal, you know, if it has proper nutrients, it can heal itself. But I wouldn't say in that same live, our anything about our products like i would be very general when you're going live and making posts and then specific <laughs> when you're talking about um when you're talking about the products or the company then you can specifically say what what are this is the question here this is what i'm extracting for how we're going to build the value of the 90 day what can we talk about it's in the it's in the acronym swiped <laughs> the whole swiped is actually the answer what swipe stands for well i was gonna just i wasn't gonna say swipe but i was gonna say you can talk about specific things like people i mean just depending on the, what the person is you know that it's helped people um with their c-reactive proteins and their you know i mean you can talk about specific things that we know have happened that biomedic has shown this um people report incredible amounts of energy i mean you know you can just talk about what yeah, that's true. So we can talk about data that's in our studies. We can talk about, um, we can talk about, so swipe, let's remind, just a reminder of the acronym. We can talk about sleep and skin, S, right? Sleep and skin. We can talk about W, weight, weight gain or weight loss. Unless you're in Europe, Europe, we cannot talk about weight, unfortunately, which I find weird. And we can't talk about detoxing. Detoxing or weight, we can't talk about Europe. Like, what can you talk about? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> wait. Um, I, we can talk about inflammation. P, we can talk about pain. E, we can talk about energy and emotion. And D, we can talk about digestion. We can talk about these things. We can say improvements in, the, in these things. Okay. So on the call, most likely they're going to tell you something, right? All those people you're signing up by yourself, you're like, so Lou, we'll start with, since this was your question. So your, your people who are signing up without smart orders, are they mentioning any of these things? Um, let's see. They're men mentioning weight. Mm -hmm. Weight's a big one. That's probably the most common. Yeah, weight, inflammation. 
energy, those are, those seem to be the biggest things. Right. So weight, inflammation, or energy. So any of those things, if we talk about weight, we can say the average person loses like 10 pounds, um, like 10 pounds a month, right? And some people lose 20 pounds in a month. No guarantees, but some people can lose 20 pounds. I've even seen people lose 30 to 60 pounds. My friend lost 13. His friend lost 13. There's Tony, he's, he's, he's your... <laughs> He's a brand partner. And, and I'm, I just want to add on one thing. He, and he was the biggest naysayer to Purian and kind of a heckler and a, and a Debbie Downer. And I convinced him to try the product. And boy, did he eat his words. He lost 13 pounds. He had to buy brand new pairs of pants. And now he's recommending it. Yeah, now he's recommending it. <laughs> now he's like a brand partner. He just yeah. became a brand partner. The one that Lee Tony thought was the least, the yeah. least likely, which is which is kind of a lesson for you, Tony, because yeah, it is. he's afraid that he's, he, he's, he, Tony's Mr. Confident, like, oh, I'll like just pass out a hundred cards and talk to a hundred people. I know it's in the numbers and one person will say yes. And then when I say prospect your friends, he's like, oh no. Because <laughs> <laughs> they have careers. I want, I want to find strangers. That's Some people are more comfortable working with people they know. Some people are more comfortable yes, working with strangers. I'm more comfortable and I would say the people who are more comfortable with strangers are probably probably very self-conscious about how they're going to look to their friends if they suggest something that they think their friends don't need. Right? That's exactly true. My God, you're a genius, babe. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I love this woman because she knows me so well. Yes, I am self-conscious. I'm, I'm, I want people to see me in a good way. And what I love about him is that he's willing to admit it. Yes, that's very true. <laughs> Sorry, we go back to work. Back to work. All right. Pretty soon, you guys are going to have like Tweedledee and Tweedledum at the helm when we're both, you know, dumb little crowns and we'll be like teaching together. Um, <laughs> so, um, okay. So, so Lou, so yeah. So, so, like, you know, 20 pounds, you know, a month, 10 pounds a month. Um, you can have, and then you're just like, you know, so I recommend, like, so you want to give this a good 90 days, not only, and once they hit their goals, you want to keep it. I always tell people, like, some people find out about the 10 day, they just want to do the 10 day and go, really? I go, you know, you want to do the prep and you want to do the continuation because once you get the results, if you don't stick with it for a good amount of time, if you don't even stick with it for 30 days, like chances are likely that after you're done with your 10 days, you're going to go back, you're going to snap back into your old habits. So we really want to, so I really recommend it takes, it takes 90 days to develop adiponectin, which is the skinny hormone. Okay. 90 days for the skinny hormone to really take root adiponectin. So do this for 90 days, because if you get them on it for 90 days, they're much more likely to do it ongoing. So I tell them the first 90, the first 30 days, I say the immersion plan, which has the cleanse in it. So it's like, you can jump right in and just like really have fast results quickly. I really want people to experience this because I want them to experience what it's like to get off the oils and the fats. Sorry, the oils, fats, and, you know, and, and, and all the inflammatory foods like dairy and eggs and things like that. I want them to experience that for 10 days. Some people, if they're not, if they're afraid of that, then you just give them the, the simple plan. But the first 30 days is the immersion. I say, I recommend, this is what I say in my recommendation. In your first 30 days, you're going to do the immersion plan. The second 30 days, you're going to do the simple plan, which is the lifestyle so that you, you really, really practice what you just learned and start learning how to eat clean meals. And, and, and you only have to make them once a day right? And then the third month, you can decide whether you're going to do the, the daily core four, or you're going to do the, the ultimate lifestyle again. And I tell people I did the ultimate lifestyle for a straight year to stabilize in my health results, to stabilize my energy, to stabilize my sleep, to stabilize my, um, my, my um, digestion, all these things. It took me like a year to stabilize. If I went off the plan, I was like back to ooh, energy, ooh, just kind of feeling wonky. So I let people know my own story. You can tell them my story, you know, but it's for weight loss. It really takes a long, it takes, you really want to, you really takes like 90 days to stabilize. So it's really easy to recommend if you have that 90 day plan. So one of the things that I did um, a week ago was I directly PM'd somebody that did not want to connect call, but wanted to get on the ULT. And I just, you know, very warmly encouraged her to get on the smart order before she ran out. Um, 
Do you think that's a good approach for my situation? That works too. I mean, if it's already done and they haven't been on a smart order, you can say, get on a smart order beforehand, you know, before you run out, you know, like this will, here, here's some other, here's some other, the things that I say for the smart order. One is, um, if you, if you get the smart order now, first of all, if you start with the 90 day plan and you get them on board with that and remember these words, I recommend, I recommend are the most, it's like the most important part of the whole connect call and the whole call, whether you're doing a connect call or you're doing it on your own, I recommend is the most important because you're listening and now you're making a recommendation. I recommend, because they can say no to it. I recommend you do the ULT the first month, the ULT, you can ULT immersion the first month, you can do the ULT simple plan the second month, the th second month to stabilize, just to like, to, to bring back the foods in and to start really stabilizing in your habits. And then the third month, you can either do the simple plan again, or if you want to eat more meals, you can, if you want to, if you want to do less shakes, you want to do more meals, then you can do the daily core for maintenance. And I've been doing that for six years and my results have stayed the same. So let them know how long you've been doing the core four, right? Make sure that's part of your conversation. I've been doing the daily core four for X amount of time, two months, three months, however long you've been doing it. And you should be doing the daily core four, <laughs> right? We've got to be a product of the products. We've got to feel the products to know the products, be able to, to share the products. Do you mind if I share my story really quick with a smart order? Sure. So just so, and you all can take this story and tell anyone not to be like Allison, your friend, Allison. So what I did is a smart order was suggested to me by my person. And I thought, ah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'll just order the daily core four every time if I want it, if I'm going to stick with it. And so I did every month and every month I ran out and every month I had to pay 13, 14, $20 in shipping to get it to me faster. And I did that ridiculously for several months. I didn't reach out to my person. They, they may or may not have known what I was doing. I was just kind of doing it on my own, chasing it. And then I went, oh, they recommended a smart order to me months ago. I'm just going to sign up. And now I've signed up and it just comes to me every month that I don't have to think about it. So, you know, you can use me as a warning tale if you would like that I did it the raw, I just never did it. And then I was consistently running out and it was terrible every month. See, this is great for, for building the value. Just to, just to know this is great for building the value that you're doing your people a favor. So the other thing is that what Jilly does is she talks about the rewards points. And one of the reasons that Jilly has everyone on the ULT every month is because it's actually cheaper than if you, like if you only, if you don't get enough product, then you have to order again, then you have to spend all this money in shipping. You might as well just get all of your products up front and not run out at all. <laughs> but she also leads with the rewards points that you get, she tells everyone, yeah, you know, first she builds a value with a 90 day. She says, you're going to do this the first month. You're going to do this the second month. But she also says, and, and um, so we'll just set up a smart order for you. And hey, guess what? The benefits of the smart order are really cool. So like, you're going to have this, we're going to set you up for, you know, I recommend you doing this and you setting up the auto ship, right? For, for you know, and you can change it after your, you recommend the auto, auto ship. You can change it. We can go in there in your second month and change the order. You can go in there anytime and change the order. You can have it be a ULT or you can change it to the daily core four. You're planting the seeds, either or, right? Ultimate or the daily core four. We're going to talk about the ultimate plus in a moment. Um, and, and if you do that, what's really, and, you know, and doing the smart order, assuming you're going to assume they're going to do it. Is, and when you do the smart order, when you, not if you, when you do the smart order, what's really cool is you get rewards points, kind of like trick plane miles. You get rewards points and you can use, use that analogy like plane miles, which are going to actually give you free product. So you can cash those in for free product over time. And after you've done it for, for a while, for a few months, you actually can buy a whole pack. I think like six months or something like that, you can actually buy a whole new pack with those points, something like that. I could be wrong, but anyway, but you can start to, you know, you start to, you can buy the daily court for it with that. Quick, quick cool. question about that. So if you do not get on smart order, do you not get points? Is that what you're saying? No, yeah, you don't get rewards points. You get, you get volume, you get GV, but you don't get rewards points. Got it. 
Thank you. So they have, the smart order has to be put in when they order. If it's, if it's done after their order, they don't get those rewards points. Go ahead, Jilly. I was just gonna say too that one of my big um, lines is that on your first two orders, you get double rewards points. So, you know, we, I build the value in doing the ultimate lifestyle transformation twice. I say it's great because then you get double rewards points. It's going to build up really quickly. And then it's these Perium dollars that you get to spend on your next orders. And I always use my mom or my sister <laughs> as, a, as an example. And uh, I'm going to share my prep them really quickly, but um, because they had 80 bucks one day. And it's such a no brainer to me. I mean, you're gonna fall in love with these products and then you're just gonna be rewarded for loving them and have future you know, spending. Can you say hi? There's my mom and my sister. Hi. <laughs> so nice to see you all together. All right, I'm uh, looking up something really quick that I'm gonna show you guys. So um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so I didn't know this. So rewards points are only added on to customers' orders if they have a smart order? Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And you said if, if they do it after the fact that you don't get them? That's right. Huh. I didn't know that. And then I think you have until the Friday, like in our week, right, Rachel, for them to sign up to get those points. So if they don't do it right away, then you have until no. our Friday. No, they have no. to. They, no, that's true for that's only true for um, for getting for, for signing with the brand partner to get the matching bonuses. They have to be signed. They have to have the smart order by that Friday in order to get matching bonuses. But you don't get those rewards points if they sign up after they order. They have to they have to happen with their order. Is my understanding. We could double check. Oh, okay, I've been really wrong on that. Just so you know. <laughs> well, let's, let's double check. We're going to check in a second. So guess what? I want to show you guys a tool while we're here. I think this is a good time. So we're going to go into screen share here. I'm recording this, right? Am I recording this? Anybody see the recording sign? Okay. Yep. Um, so this is the blog, right? I share You can start memorizing things forward slash blog, right? Really easy, right? What's really cool is that the blog starts with this now, best tools for BPs. So this is a great resource. Just this whole best, best, um, this just was put on recently and it has all these different explanations of like the business. So this is a great place for training. We're starting to get more and more concise about how we train. So here's the product blog, the video clips, Dave's words, product blog. Um, then learn about the product philosophy, right? and then learn about the environmental philosophy. So here's some like just specific um, blogs and video clips that might be useful to you. Now over here, this on my phone, I don't have a search bar so easily handy. I have a hard time on my phone, but when I'm on a computer, there's a search bar here that we can put in smart order. And now look, I've got all these opportunity options over here on the left. And one of them is share the value of this ultimate lifestyle transformation share the value of the smart order. So here's the smart order. And here we talk about the customer benefits. One of the things about the consistency with nutrition, like, like Allison said, you run out. Um, as a brand partner, <laughs> I think the brand partner is a little bit more obvious why we need a smart order. We want the matching bonuses, we want our commissions. Um, Grand partner benefits, inspiring scripts. So here, this is really great. Inspiring scripts, customer smart sign up. I would take a look at this. I'm just letting you read. So here we go. What's your objective in doing this? Talking to a customer, what weight loss, better sleep, improved energy, overall health, all of the above. How much weight do you want to lose? Ask them that question. And then you can tell them that most people lose 10 pounds, you know, 10 pounds in that, during that cleanse, 10 pounds the first month, sometimes 20 pounds, sometimes even 60, depending. The more heavier they are, the more they can lose their first month. Okay. So, I just want you guys to know this resource is here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the chat. 
And so you can share this with your team members. If they're like, ah, oh, like the smart order, you can send them, have them look at this first. And then you can kind of go over with them some of the things we're talking about now. Okay. So um, any other questions or thoughts about how to build the smart order and the value? I just wanted to say too that the smart order really is our inner posture about it. And if you go in and you just, I mean, when I talk about the smart order, I talk about that it is a no brainer, that it is a shame for people to miss out on it because it is future dollars and sign up. We can always modify. Let's check in in a couple of weeks. Let's decide if you want to do another ULT. Let's decide if you want to add another product on, but at least we know that you're getting those double rewards points to start because why wouldn't you, you know? Yeah. The more you do it, the more it'll be, it'll be, you'll start to feel it as an assumption. Like I, it's for me, it's just an assumption. They're going to, I'm just like, I just know they're going to do this with ultimate lifestyle two months in a row. I know that they need to, I know that it's going to be great value. And if they don't do the ultimate lifestyle, then they'll get the, then they'll get the smart, then they'll get the daily core four as a smart order. And it's just like, I just, it, either I say, um, you're gonna, you're definitely going to want to get the smart order. That's my language. And you're definitely going to want to get the smart order. Cause this is going to give you you know, rewards points, so free product. So I use the, you're going to want to, <laughs> um, and you know, another one is like, you know, um, I recommend, right. But I'm going to recommend the 90 days and you're definitely going to want to get the smart order. So you cap, so you definitely get the rewards points as well. You know, you definitely don't want to lose out on that. Go ahead, Allison. I have a uh, so uh, my quick question. So when I signed up as a brand partner, I actually went through and did my order right at that time. And when I did that, um, it asked me, do you want to use this, meaning what I had just ordered and add it to a smart order? And I had the opportunity to say yes. Is that the same for just our customers? Does yeah. that come up as uh, an option? Uh, Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it should. I believe, I don't know. You know what they... The technology has been changing a little bit and I'm not always up keeping up with the Jones Joneses. So I haven't done it myself and walked through it, but I believe so. Yeah. So let's talk about we, when we show, we're talking about the ULT now, I'm now I'm talking about the ULT plus pack, right? I'm talking about the ULT plus performance. All right. So who's comfortable with that as the primary pack and as the business pack? Raise your hand if you feel comfortable promoting that as both the primary and the business pack, mm -hmm. like customer prim primary pack for a customer and primary pack for a business. What ULT? Sorry. The ULT plus performance, our new pack. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So we're not going to call it our new pack anymore because then people will call it the new pack. They'll be like, well, what's the old pack? Right. We're not, we're not going to, we're just, we're not like trying to create too many options. It's what happens is when people have too many options, they hesitate to buy. It makes it slow, it slows down their processing of whether they're gonna order or not. Because, so we need to limit their options and make it really clear what we are recommending, right? If they're like, ooh, I don't know if I can, if I can do that, I don't feel like I need all that, then you can say, well, okay, we can do the ultimate lifestyle transformation then. Like that's what, that's what some people get. Okay, we're gonna give that as an option. But the ultimate, Julie, is your hand still up? Is that up again or is that, Okay, it's up again. Um, okay, cool, I'll finish this thought and then we'll go to you. Um, so, uh, obviously, it's pretty obvious as a business pack because it's a sampler, it gives you a lot of different things, right? You get all these different things. And so you get to try the MVP sport, you get to try the power shake, you get to try the can't beat this, you get to try the cocoa hydrate and the aloe digest and all these different things, right? Um, so, uh, if you have, I don't know, Jill, do you have an answer? Where you, why don't you go ahead, Jill, in case it's related to this? Well, it's, it, it isn't, it, it, okay, so I was, dealing, on the spot. I was talking to somebody yesterday and what's that? No, that's yeah, okay. On the spot. Actually, I mean, it'll all morph in maybe, but I realized my block with it last night and I'm hoping that we can talk through this because I'm not really sure how to talk about it because for one, it's a lot of product and I feel like it's going to be, you know, how do you explain it to everybody and how do you implement the extra two shakes? And it's just, if somebody, if that was my first time, I'd be like, ah, you know, I love it as a pack and I'm super excited about it, but I would feel a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of shakes in there. And I don't know, are they going to get a new performance pack 
um, brochure to okay, walk what's through. Cool. Here's what's cool about the performance pack. I don't think we're gonna get a new brochure, but here's what's cool about the performance pack is instead of having one shake a day the first 10 days, they can have two shakes a day the first 10 days and two shakes a day at the end. So it's like the simple version plus immersion. So I like that. For me, I love that because they're going to get to try different shakes. They'll have the opportunity to try different things. Um, and then the aloe digest, they can have with every any meals. They can have it as a drink throughout the day. So one of the things that people struggle with is stay, staying hydrated. So if they're drinking these all day long and they're trying, they're like, I have to have my cocoa hydrate at least once a day. I have to have my aloe vera once a day. This is going to help them stay hydrated. They're going to have electro days, electrolytes every day with the cocoa hydrate. And then with the, and then they can't beat this up. Obviously they can put that into their, they can put that into their shakes for a little extra energy, a pick me up in the afternoon. Anybody who drinks coffee, this is going to be the coffee alternative. That's what I would think would be the biggest hook is that, that and the digestion, right? Cause yeah, a lot of people don't have energy they want or digest. Yeah. Digestion problems. Yeah. And during the summer, it's really easy because I'm hydrating. I'm drink, trying to find ways to drink water all day long and hydrate too. And so I, I need fun ways because I get, I don't like water. I get tired of water. I'm like, I don't want to drink water. So I always have to have either lemon in it, but now I can have cocoa hydrate in it. I can hydrate all day long and everyone needs electrolytes during the summer. So during the summer, the cocoa hydrate thing is really easy, but most people don't get enough hydration. And that shows through constipation too. If people are constipated, they definitely need these things. They definitely need the aloe digest and they definitely need the cocoa hydrate. Any other thoughts or questions? What are your thoughts, Tanya? <laughs> I just feel um, like you're about to say something. <laughs> no, I was just saying I use all the products. You know, I'm like towel. I use them all. Um, the super Xanthan. Basically, if anybody works out, they want the super Xanthan. And I've been using the aloe lately for that reason and i just think yeah i mean for a brand partner it's a no-brainer for the customer i think it's just um it's totally how you yeah how you present it so the super xanthan i use every day just for my skin i use it every day just to protect myself from the sun and you know i i wear sunscreen every single day i put sunscreen on my body even though i have kind of dark skin i, I put sunscreen on every single day and i do the super xanthan because i really want to protect my skin I'm going for youthfulness. I'm going for anti-aging. <laughs> okay. So you can use it. It's great for working out and repairing the muscles, but it's also great for repairing the skin to keeping your skin repairing itself all day long. And it's amazing for the eyes. Super xanthan is one of the most important things you can have for eyes. For what? Like just sight? You mean just keeping yeah. them healthy? Literally to improve your eyesight. It's great. Um, what else we got here? What else is in the pack? It doesn't have super lights. So I think that's it. And then if people are working out, then totally it's a no brainer. If they're not, super xanthan for your skin and eyes, youthfulness, anti-aging. It's the high, it's like, it's super incredible antioxidant because it's red marine algae. It grows at the equator and the North Pole. Okay, the hottest and coldest, but the brightest and most sun intense climates. Why is that? It's the pink that gives you gives salmon their pink and it gives flamingos their pink, right? Hot and cold climates. Algae. It's red marine algae. Yes, thank you. Okay, Jilly. Do we know why you can't take that when breastfeeding? Do you know? Just curious. That I don't know. I didn't even know that. <laughs> Stephanie, do you know? <laughs> She's driving, so she might not be. I've never to heard that before, Rachel. I've, really? heard that I've not heard that super xanthan is contraindicated with nursing. Yeah, where did you hear that, Jilly? I feel like I read it somewhere. So, and I bought it, and then I read that, and then I stopped mm. taking it right away because I was oh, wow. taking it, and then I stopped. Maybe, maybe while we're doing this, you could just do a quick little Google research for an article. Just say, you know, just look up super, look up um, astaxanthin and breastfeeding. Astaxanthin is the actual ingredient. Um, okay. So, and then for, for a brand partner, it's just really obvious. Like you want to try everything and you want to also, also you want to have enough to be able to give away. Like here, let me, you can try my power shake. I mean, I have, uh, whenever, when I'm at the grocery store, this, I haven't done this recently. I was doing this for the first five years up until recently. Cause I guess, cause of COVID I stopped doing it, but I had a tailgate party at, 
every single time I went shopping. Every single time I went shopping, I would open my hatchback. I would have all my Purium drinks there and I would make myself a drink. And his friends came up because I always, you know, social hours always at the grocery store for my community. My friends would come up and I would make them drinks. And Tony, you could be doing this at the beach. So you need to fix your hatchback. Okay. <laughs> or get a hatchback car. So have a tailgate party. Tailgate parties all summer long, <laughs> even in the winter. All right, um, what else do we got? Any, anything else? I just wanted to back up to connect calls because Lou's original thing was like she said, Thank people you. don't want, are interested, I think is what you said in connect calls. And um, what I would say to that is they shouldn't have the option to refuse it right? Like there's a way to say it's so that one, they might not even know it's going to happen Two, it's just, it's totally how you say it. So I've never had anybody say, I don't want that because I don't, it's not how it's presented, right? It's not, it's presented in a way that it's, it's organic and it's more support and all that. So I would just, um, you know, encourage you to look at how you're saying it or what you're saying, um, because that's, it's a really easy thing to to move past to get over thank you tanya actually so all the sales i made last month were really close friends and i think i had this like insecurity around the process with my close friends like i didn't you know like I, and so yeah i offered i was like we could hop on a call together or we could hop on a call with my friend and mentor who knows a lot more than I do, or I can just send you the link. And they're like, just send me the link. And I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> so good. So yeah, I guess it's the way I'm presenting it. Well, and in those cases, maybe they're just doing it to support you on, on the surface, right? It's just, just send me this thing. I just want to support you. Maybe. Um, can I talk about this? Yes. Okay, so I'm, first of all, thank you, Lou, for spelling it out, because this is the first thing when I'm trying to troubleshoot to figure out why is something not happening in the system, then I need to, you know, I just need to make sure that I understand what's actually happening. And so this really helps me get a picture of like what's actually happening. So first of all, I never, unless they're wanting, if they want to become a brand partner, I'm going to say, oh, let's meet my mentor. That's easy, because everyone always wants to improve in the business and meet a mentor. It's no big deal to say, hey, let's jump on the phone with my mentor. I want to introduce you guys. You should meet. I want you to have a mentor too, you know, but when it's, when, if it's somebody who's interested in just the products, I never say I'm going to get you on a call with someone else ever. That's like the most intimidating thing. People are like, Ooh, I'm going to get the, why, who's this other person? Why is she, why is she wanting me to meet somebody? I don't know. Like, I don't want to talk to them about my poop or my, my, my weight or my issues or number one or number two, I don't want to be sold up, up sold on products. Right. Um, I don't want to have a sales call. So what I do is I wait till they're on the call. And this is how it was trained to me by three-star crown, Tracy Fujikani, who was my, my mentor and Sarah. And Tracy was Sarah's mentor. Okay. So I say, um, let's get on a call. When are you free? And then I say, oh, she's free at three on Friday. I go, Sarah, are you free on Friday? And Sarah goes, I'm free on Friday. I go, okay. So when the call happens, Sarah's on standby, ready to take the call if I call her. And I'm talking to my friend on the phone. We catch up a little bit. I go, what did you think of products, blah, blah. Then I start talking about my friend, Sarah. I go, my friend, Sarah had an amazing transformation. You should hear her story. It's, it's so, it's what inspired me, you know? And she's like, you know, my old friend from, from, um, from Hawaii. And they're like, oh, wow, that's cool. And then I go, oh, she's a mom. You're a mom. I go, I go, you should hear like, you know, hear her, her story. It's just, it's just like, you guys have something really similar or not, you know, I mean, it just depends on how you introduce them, but it's going to be different people. And I'm going to say, I mean, if they're not a mom, it's like, I'm just like, you just need to hear my friend Sarah's story. She's incredible. She was like a role for, and she was struggling with energy, blah, blah, blah. Um, and they go, wow. Yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah. I'm down to meet her. And then I'll say, you know, she, we could talk to her. I would love to actually introduce you and we could do that right now because I, you know, I know that she's free right now. I know she's home with her kids right now. Let me just give her a ring and I'll add her to the call. And I don't say, can I do mind if I do, I go, let me just give her a ring really quick and I'll add her to the call and you can meet her. Like I kind of make it a thing. Like it's exciting. Like, oh yeah, you can meet my friend. She's really cool. And then they're like, okay, I've literally never, 
ever had anyone say no to that. And I've been doing this for over six years. I've never had anybody say no. I have had people in my downline say somebody with somebody say like, oh, I really, I would love to meet her, but I'm like, I have to jump off the phone right now because I'm really busy or I got to do something like that. Some kind of thing like that can happen. But if your posture is stoked and like, you've got to meet my friend, they're going to be stoked and want to meet your friend. And if you just go, I'll introduce to you right now and you can just meet her really quick. Like just, you just got to hear her story. Like I'll just share it on the phone. You can just hear her story. When I introduce them, usually the call ends up like they, we all think it's going to be five minutes, ends up being like, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe longer. And they feel so heard and listened to. And because Sarah isn't friends with them the way I am, Sarah's going to ask questions I haven't thought of asking. And usually Sarah will extract from them things I never thought of extracting. And a call goes a whole different way than I explain, I experience. Same with Tony's friend. Like Tony gets me on calls with his friends all the time. And like, it always goes a different way than he expects. So it's really about how you bring them to the call, the expectation and, and, and whatever you're setting it up for. We just say like, you gotta hear my friend's story. Like, I really want you to hear my friend's story. She's really cool. Or, you know, and I, I, another thing I say is, and I would love for you to get the support I got from her. I would love for you to get the support I got from her. When they're on the call, they are usually like 99.9% .9 stoked that they did it. They feel taken care of. Bye, Autumn. <laughs> How's that feel? Oh, this is where I get frustrated with myself and my own conditioning because I get stuck in the fear state of they're going to feel tricked because I think that that's how I might have felt if that's how mm -hmm. it happened for me because of all the sales trauma that I have from the past, Got it. which I am transmuting and healing like rapidly, but but yeah, I have this fear of them feeling tricked. I don't want anyone to feel tricked. I want to like approach it with the most um, Well, you want to be really honest. Yeah, you want to be honest. The other thing that I say is I say, you know, my I've told, I've been telling my friend Sarah about you and she was, she's totally stoked. She would be stoked to meet you. And she's actually free. I told her I was going to be talking to, talking to you right now. And she said she was going to be free if I wanted to, if she, if I want to introduce her. Okay. I just, I no, want to just chime in here. What's that? Rachel, I just want to chime in here because I'm the exact opposite. <clears throat> I always make an appointment with my people to meet you. And that just comes from years of being highly scheduled and just assuming that they're going to want to meet you. And so that's what works for me. So I just want to offer that to you, Lou. Like I never just say, oh, meet my friend, Rachel. Rachel, can you be on a call ready for me at such and such time? I never do that. So it's just, it's really about what works for you, Lou, is what you want to do you know, cause I'm the exact opposite of Rachel and that's what works for me. So I just want to honor how you're feeling. So Stephanie, are you saying that you, you do tell them from the get-go that you are going to be adding someone to the call? If no, I make an appointment for them to meet Rachel. I make an appointment for them to meet her. I think what so Lou's asking is, are they expecting to be meeting me? What was your question, Rachel? She, she's asking, are they expecting to be meeting me? Yes, I've edified Rachel. I've told them how amazing she is and, and the reason why I want them to meet her. It's all very authentic and genuine. Let's talk about that. Why, why do you want them to meet me? Like, what is your wording around that? Well, so it's changed, Rachel, because I do a lot of my own connect calls now because I know so much. But mm -hmm. in the past, I have brought people to Rachel because... She has been working with people for, you know, many more years than I have. She's helped far more people than I have. And she knows a lot about these products and, you know, she's, she can help you. So it's changed. I do a lot of my own connect calls now, but when you're just training, it's vital that you learn from connect calls. Absolutely vital. That's, that was my training ground for years. It's only recently that I've done my own connect calls. I did connect calls until I hit crown. <laughs> yeah. And that was because Sarah became, went on vacation, became unavailable. <laughs> it's the only reason I stopped. <laughs> and I still get people, I can still get my brand partners on connect calls with her.
Thank you, Stephanie. Everyone, you know, some people it's going to be easy to say, oh, I want you to meet someone else. And some people might feel awkward. And so it's just, you're going to have to navigate that. That's going to take time. But once you start getting people on a connect call, do you ever get anybody on connect calls? So if you've been able to do that at all? Yes. Um, Steph and I did had one a few days ago and it went really well. Yeah. And I've done like six of them with Autumn and I love doing it. Once I'm on the call, I really love it. Like I, my heart just opens up and I feel like I'm on fire for being of service. And it's just like this wonderful state of mind. So I don't dread connect calls. I just, I think it is the weak part is just getting somebody to <laughs> agree to it. I think it's easier for them to meet a friend than a mentor. When I hear a mentor, I've had people try to get me on connect calls and they're like, oh, meet my mentor, like other network marketing companies. I'm like, oh no way, hell no. I don't want to meet some mentor who's going to try to like teach you how to sell me on something. Like that's creepy. Like, I don't like that word. I just, for me as like, but some people might love it, right? But it's like, I'm just like, I want you to meet my friend. Like if they're mm. like, I want you to meet my friend who's, you know, who's like, who supported me to get started. It's a lot different of a feeling. Okay, that helps. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Yay. Okay. How are we doing? Any other questions, thoughts, concerns? Go ahead, Zaya. Um, so I checked about the uh, rewards points and they can get rewards points anytime they order. But if they have a smart order, it says it doubles the reward points that they earn with that's, each order. Thank you. That's what I meant. And I apologize. I realized I was, I was talking about double rewards points and I apologize. Thank you for clarifying. That's what I actually meant, meant to say. Okay, great. I was like, what? <laughs> Yeah, it's the double rewards points because they're going to get so many for that pack, for the ultimate lifestyle pack. It's like a ton of rewards points. It's huge. Okay, go ahead, Lou. I just remembered something that I wanted to contribute to building the value of the smart order that I just learned, which is that if you have smart order, you're going to continue to get the 25% off. And if you don't have smart order and you order again, it's only 15% off. Is that accurate? Yeah, it'll be 15% off, but then once they order that month with the 15%, then it goes back up to 25. Oh, it does? Yeah. If they're not on smart order, it'll go back up to? If they order, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but does it apply? But does the 25% does the yeah. apply to that order or it's they order it at 15 not till the and next then order. they get? After they order yeah, okay. then they get 25%. They could, they could just make their next order. And then it'll be 25% off. Another way to get 25% off is if you order over $250. Anytime you spend over $250, it's always 25% off, no matter what, even if you haven't ordered for a month. And the point of the smart order is so that you don't lapse and it goes down to 15. It's not the smart order that makes it 25% off. It's the fact that it's smart order keeps you ordering so you don't lose a month and accidentally miss a month and then your price and then your and then your points go down. I mean, then your percentage goes down, your discount goes down. As well as it gives you, it gives you the um, rewards points and it gives you the um, um, GV, the matching bonuses. Okay, how are we doing? Any other questions? And, uh, just want to kind of plant a seed here for the Equinox next month, September 22nd, that we're going to do an Equinox transformation. And it's going to be um, all of Sarah's team. So we're going to be, it's going to be all of us and we're going to have like a giveaway. So get ready for the giveaway to plug that. I'm just planting the seed so you can know what's coming up next month. And um, how's the summer reset going? Anybody have people in the summer reset group? Anybody resetting right now? yourselves anybody I'm starting in? tomorrow with um Tal and I starting the 10 day tomorrow oh good awesome yeah I can't wait I've <laughs> I've been like I've been doing like healthy desserts emotional eating you know and justifying them because they're more healthy yeah. you know but it's been like every day or something so i'm like yeah i need to get this under control 
I hear that. So um, I'll join with you guys. I'll do the 10 day with you guys. Okay, great. You can do it in the summer. In this, and I recommend just like every day posting something in the summer reset group because it helps just motivate everyone, anyone else who's in there. So that way we can stay, look, let's tag each other. Let's stay accountable. Let's, let's post every day in that group and tag each other. I'm on day one, I'm on day two. And what, okay. we're doing, and what we're doing. Okay, cool. Yeah, and today I go to the farmer's market so I can pick up stuff. Good, awesome. I have a reason to do mine and I'll tell you why, because I'm, I, it's time for my annual pap smear. And last year I had HPV and um, then they had to do a colposcopy, which sucks ass. I mean, it's like painful and horrible and like, ugh, it was awful. And they found a cyst and, and luckily it was benign, but it freaked me the out. And so I have a pap smear next week. So I'm doing HPV, cannot survive celery juice. So I'm doing celery juice every single day. Good for you guys to know. I'm doing this every day. Plus the barley green juice is also helpful against HPV and the spirulina. And I'm doing, so that's why I'm really determined to do the cleanse this week. I'm like completely like committed to the cleanse. I'm doing lab work today. So I'm doing the cleanse all day today so that I have good lab work. So I got my pap smear next week and I got my lab work today. And I'm also getting a CAT scan for my eyes and my face to find out if there's anything just to rule out tumors and stuff like that. So I'm, you know, this has been going on for like 14 years. So I'm just finally addressing it. I never had a CAT scan before. So this is my medical stuff going on right now. And so I'll report back. I'm just doing hardcore with the products. I'm doing a year long metal detox. So if anybody knows anybody with nerve issues and wants to do a metal detox, I have a whole metal detox, which is the medical medium protocol using the Purium products. So there you go. Good for anxiety and the nervous system and all that stuff. All right. So you and Zaya are starting today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm starting today. Today's yeah. my day one. And me, Tal and I are starting tomorrow. I might start with you. Okay, yeah, cool. Let's have an accountability group. Let's do it. Let's let's all let's all post in the summer reset our, our, our daily accountability with each other. Okay. Both the thread and in the and in the group. Hey Reach. Um, um, yeah. I just I just want to offer that um I've been horribly remiss in that summer reset group and I'm going to get in there for the second half of my cleanse. Aww, thank uh, you. <laughs> yeah. I want to get in that group and just be sharing my journey. It's interesting how private I get. I get very private on this journey. I go very inside I, 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 and you know, I'm just really into my own energy right now. So I need yeah. to pull myself out to share my experience. And then um, the other thing I wanted to just underscore is the protocol that Rachel just mentioned, everybody, the, the heavy metal detox protocol, many of you know, but some of you might not know that, you know, it was Rachel that um, really helped me out a year ago when I realized that what was going on with my eye was heavy metal toxicity. And I texted her and I said, Rachel, send me everything you have for heavy metal detox. And I went on to do that protocol for seven months, uh, five to seven days a week. And the migraines I was experiencing completely went away. So I stand behind the protocol that Rachel mentioned 100%. And for my team, I have that protocol written in a Google doc. Well, for, for anyone on the team, actually, but I just want my team to know specifically, if you want that, just message me that you want it for someone, or if it comes up in a conversation or whatever, that you have access to that. I don't mention the medical medium in it. And I do have my, um, my gift code on that Google sheet or Google page rather. So you can you know, just uh, erase mine, delete mine, and put yours on there if you want to use it as a tool for your people. Very cool, Stephanie. That's a great idea to have your um, your gift code on there. And I have the Google, I have the whole Metal Detox written out too, and I send it to people quite often. So if you guys want that, I have it written out in a notes form. I just text it to people, copy paste um, in terms of, you know, just like, here's the protocol and it's obvious which ones are Perium. Cool. Well, um, any other questions or thoughts? Anything else that we could clarify or go over? You know, Rachel, I also would like that metal detox. And I have several people working on their eyes and with um, macular degeneration, like Deanna Bonet and Gary. And okay. um, I want to do the metal detox. I'm on the first day of the cleanse also. So well, I'm right over. Yeah. Yay. Congratulations. So we can end early if there isn't anything else. We're a little small group, it's summertime. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rach. You're welcome. Thanks for all being here. 
Deborah, did you say you, you wanted to jump in on the cleanse? I'm, I'm definitely on the cleanse and I've been You're on it now. I'm organizing some people with me doing it with me. Yes. Cool. We'll Thank bring you. them into Thank the group you, and tag yeah, them. And tag us. Pandy will probably come back in here next week. Her father's here this yeah. week. I'm going to answer a question I just saw you post in the chat, which is for irritable bowel syndrome, love yeah. shake sleeper meal is the best. Yeah, two of my people have that, which what, what is the, the love shake is the best for that? Yeah, and I'll tell you guys why. We can do a little product stuff right now. Um, okay. Because it is the, the protein is fermented and because the grains are sprouted, it's much more broken down and easier for the body to digest. That is so good to know. And then also, is it good to put people with irritable bowel syndrome on um, the caramel daily fiber? No, bread? absolutely not. Not? Definitely. No, because it's got grains and they're not sprouted. Oh, so then I'm not I, saying it's terrible. I'm just saying don't use I was, that I was also thinking for elimination, but I don't want anything that's got it's got, oatmeal. I mean, it's got it's got oatmeal, it's got oats in it. It's not bad. It's just it's not, I mean, the super meal is very specific. It's it's fermented and sprouted. There are no grains in there that are not fermented or sprouted. Excellent, excellent. It's, Thank it's you very for that. Ayurvedic, which is Ayurvedic. It's Ayurveda all the way, right? Because in yeah. Ayurveda, we don't eat rice unless it's been soaked and sprout and fermented. That's like very Ayurvedic principle. All of our grains need to be soaked. Right on, right on. Thank okay. you. Yeah. So anyone who struggles with things, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the fiber, honestly. I don't, I don't ever recommend it. I, I don't think it's not, I don't think it's necessarily bad, but I don't think it's, it's, I'm neutral. It's like, it's oats. You know, it's got oats it's and, rice and rice bran and like the rice, the rice bran solubles are also already in the power shake. So if you're going to give them grains, give them the power shake, you know, <laughs> I use it. I like, I sprinkle it over my fruit. And when I have some rice bran solubles on it, the, no, bran. the, um, fiber, the daily fiber. Yeah. And, yeah. um, I gave it to my sister. It helped her. Good. Yeah. It helped her with what? When she, she was having a bunch of digestion issues. She didn't have irritable bowel though. She just was having some constipation. Yeah, that's different. Constipation is a different thing. Irritable bowel mm -hmm. is like diarrhea. It's like really struggling. Like people are having a really hard time. Like, yeah, my other that. sister has that. <laughs> so super meal is the indicated thing for that, for Crohn's, for, um, this is my protocol as a health practitioner because this is being recorded and it goes on YouTube. I just want to make that clear, um, you know. Those are those is the most helpful thing for anyone with IBS, any kind of IBS, which includes SIBO, which includes, which is small intestinal bacteria overgrowth, which is, um, you know, all the things. Um, if they're constipated, then a pot the cherry juice and lemon water first thing in the morning. Yeah, it, the fiber never worked for my constipation, <laughs> to be honest. It just made me more backed up. I was like, ah, so. You know, you know that's, probably, like that's probably Ayurvedic. That is probably Ayurvedic too. So that's really good for me to know because vata is more cold and dry. So then the oats would just be dry, but the apothecary and the lemon juice is more liquefying. So that's, I get it. Thank you. There's our little Ayurvedic specialist. Jen, um, uh, Deborah's also yeah. another certified Ayurvedic practitioner. So she actually knows this stuff. I love that. She's a good you. person to ask questions too. Um, thank you, Deb. All right, I think I'm gonna let you guys go early. I love you. Thank you all, this was good. Love you, thank you, this was wonderful. Yeah, thank I'll post you. a replay in the um, in the accountability group. Have okay. a great day, everyone reach out to me. Love Thanks, you. Rachel. <laughs> You're welcome, Steph, love you. Bye, Rachel, thank you. Bye, Bye everybody. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Nice to see everybody. Bye. <laughs>